Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I'll share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I'll also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruch and Test oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Moin! So learn today 30 common Luxembourgish phrases for beginners. So the goal of this episode is to share with you Luxembourgish phrases, so not just individual Luxembourgish words, but phrases that you can use in many different situations. So the phrases selected for this episode are for beginners and typical expressions used by native speakers and are very helpful for you to use in everyday life, either with your neighbors, colleagues, friends, in social gatherings, and so on. And did you know that you can get fluent faster if you focus on learning Luxembourgish phrases, so the same phrases that we native speakers use every day? So in this episode, we will focus on practicing speaking, very important, together, and also on enhancing your listening comprehension. I will prompt you to listen to each phrase and afterwards to repeat after me aloud. So it is important to hear your voice if you would like to gain confidence in actually speaking Luxembourgish. So, Basto Pratt, are you ready? Great. Then let's get started with four ways to ask how are you. Okay. So the first phrase or these are questions would be so how is it going? How would you ask this in Luxembourgish? How is it going or how are you? This is easy. Hopefully you've said they get it. They get it. So, lauschte an wiederhol. This means listen and repeat. We get it. Good. A second way to ask someone how are you could be We get it dir. We get it dir. So, this is how are you more um, familiar, so you are more polite, and it's also an informal form. Okay, so if you know the person, or if it is a neighbor or a friend you know very well, or at work, you can say, We get it dir. It's more personal. Yeah. And then the same um, question in uh, the formal form would be, We get it irsch. Irsch here is the formal form of you. We get it irsch. Lausch da an wiederhol. We get it irsch. Good. And a fourth way to ask someone how are you could be What get at nights? What get at nights? Meaning What's new? This is used really when you know someone very, very well and someone you haven't seen now for a long time, but you know him very well. So then you can say, What get at nights? Mir wiederholen. What get at nights? Okay, good. So let's repeat these four ways to ask someone, How are you? So, how are you? General is, We geht it. How are you informal and more personal? We get it dir. How are you formal? We get it irsch. And what's new? What get it nights? Good. Now learn five phrases to say how you are. So if someone asks you, We get it dir, then you can answer, for example, by saying, Ganz gut. Ganz gut. Very good. Let's repeat. Ganz gut. Or you can say tip top. Tip top. 
great. Or to say, I'm fine, also more personal, you can say, mir geht et gut. Mir wiederholen, mir geht et gut. And more natural, more natural, mir geht et gut. Uh, and often native speakers say, ich kann nicht klauen. Ich kann nicht klauen, meaning I can't complain. Mir wiederholen, ich kann nicht klauen. And a fifth phrase to say how you are could be all the so. So if someone asks you, wie geht es dir? Or all the so, meaning not so great. All the so. Mir wiederholen die fünf Sätze. So we repeat the five sentences. So very good is ganz gut. Great is tip top. I'm fine is Mir geht es gut. I can't complain. Do you remember? Yes, this is ich kann nicht klauen. And if you are not feeling so great, you would say all the so. Now learn five phrases to say thank you. Very easy. So you know for sure how to say thank you. This is merci. Merci. And to say thank you a lot or thank you so much is Vielmals merci. Lauster an wiederhol. Vielmals merci. Or you can say merci für den Hölf. Merci für den Hölf. So if someone uh, has helped you to do something and you want to thank him for uh, their help, and uh, you can say in an informal form merci für den Hölf. Or if you want to say to someone that's so kind of you in the formal form, you can say that us ganz slave fun irsch. That us ganz slave fun irsch. That's so kind of you. And if you want to express that you are really grateful, informal form is ich sin dir dankbar. Ich sin dir dankbar. Mir wiederholen. Ich sin dir dankbar. Or if in a formal situation, how would you say this? Yes, this is ich sin ihr dankbar. Ich sin ihr dankbar. So, mir, mir wiederholen die fünf Satz. Doch, du kannst so ein Merci. Thank you a lot is. Vielmals Merci. Thank you for your help is. Merci für den Hölf. That's so kind of you, formal is. That is ganz leif von ihr. And to say, I'm really grateful. Ich sin dir dankbar. Or, ich sin ihr dankbar. Now that you have learned five phrases to say thank you, let's learn five ways to respond to thank you. So you can say in response to a merci or vielmals merci, you can say ger geschit. Ger geschit. Lauschte an wiederhol. Ger geschit, meaning my pleasure. Okay? Or you can say das neist. Das neist. Mir wiederholen, das neist, meaning don't mention it. Or to say, you are welcome in more a formal form, you can say, kein Ursach, kein Ursach, kein Ursach. This is more formal. Or you can simply say for no problem, kein Problem, kein Problem. This is more informal. And a last way to say that's the least I can do is that us, that manst, wat ich mache kann. Mir wiederholen. That us, that manst, wat ich machen kann. That's the least I can do. Mir wiederholen nach ein Kehr. That us, that manst, wat ich machen kann. Yes? Great. So let's repeat here the four main ways to respond to a um, merci. So, for example, my pleasure is ger geschit. Don't mention it is das neist. You're welcome, more formal, is kein Ursach. And no problem is 
Kein Problem. Ganz gut. So, now learn five phrases for apologizing. So, to say, I'm sorry, say in Luxembourgish, et dit ma leed. Et dit ma leed. And more natural is, dit ma leed. So, listen and repeat. Lauschte an wiederhol. Dit ma leed. Dit ma leed. I'm sorry. Uh, or you can say, excuse me, formal is entschuldigt. Entschuldigt. So I need to hear the final T, so then I know that it's formal. Entschuldigt. Or if you want to apologize for, for example, for being late, then you would say, ich entschuldige mich für die Verspätung. So ich entschuldige mich für means I apologize for... Lauschter an wiederhol. Ich entschuldige mich für die Verspätung. Die Verspätung means for being late. Yeah. Let's move on. If you want to say, oh, or oops, that's my fault, you would say, oops, that us my fehler. That us my fehler, that's my fault. That us my fehler. And a fifth way to apologize could be a schun dat nut a so gemengt. A schun dat nut a so gemengt, meaning I didn't mean it that way. Okay, mir wiederholen. A schun dat nut a so gemengt. Over to you. Good. Okay, super. So, mir wiederholen. So, I'm sorry is. Dit malet, excuse me formal, and chalust. I apologize for is, ich entschuldige mich für. That's my fault, that was my fehler. And do you remember how to say I didn't mean it that way? Yes, this is, ich hund das nicht so gemengt. Let's finish uh, this episode with five ways to respond to an apology. For example, if someone say, um, oh, entschuldigt, you can uh, reply back by saying, que problem, que problem, you know what this means. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, dat könnt fear, dat könnt fear, it happens. Mir wiederholen, dat könnt fear. Or if you just want to say, that's okay, you can say, that was so good, or das so good, das so good, mir wiederholen, das so good, das so good, that's okay. Or if you want to say to someone, don't worry about it, informal is, le dai kap a row. This is an expression, le dai kap a row. We use this a lot really to, to, to calm someone and to tell him, hey, don't worry about it. It's not so uh, bad. Okay. Le dai kap a row. Le dai kap a row. Okay. And a last one, if you want to forgive someone to say, I forgive you, informal. And this is for serious prob problems, you would say, ich verzeihen dir. Ich Verzeihen dir. Ich verzeihen dir. Okay. Mir wiederholen die fünf um, Satz, how to respond to an apology. So, no problem. Kein Problem. It happens. That könnt fear. That's okay. Das so gut. And then we have learned an expression. Don't worry about it. Le dai kap a row, and I forgive you, ich verzeihen dir. Now, before we finish this episode, I want you to put you to the test because repeating is really a great way to memorize sentences, to memorize uh, chunks uh, in Luxembourgish and in any language. Okay, so. I have three sentences for you, or maybe 
four sentences for you to translate. So, how would you ask someone in a formal situation, how are you today? Hopefully, you said, wie geht es dir heute? Wie geht es dir heute? Formal. Yeah. And then, how would you answer back by saying, I can't complain? So, do you remember how to say, I can't complain? This is, ich kann nicht klauen. Ich kann nicht klauen. How would you respond to someone saying, Vielmals merci. So if someone is telling you Vielmals merci, you can answer back by saying Ger geschieht. Ger geschieht. Or das nicht. Das nicht. Or more formal. Keine Ursache. Okay. And here a last sentence for you to, to no, a, la, a last sentence. How would you respond to someone saying Entschuldigt. So here you can answer back by saying, Que problem? That's the best answer here as it always fits. Huh? Que problem? Good. Now, with this knowledge under your belt, you are ready to start mastering the nuances of Luxembourgish. So practice a little bit and don't be afraid to dive deeper into the language with us. And trust us, when you know the basics such as to greet someone and being able to respond when being asked, they get it. And dealing with everything else won't be too hard. So start your Luxembourgish learning journey today and master in just eight weeks the basics of the language with our self-study online course A1 Foundation. You will find the link to this course uh, in the show notes below. So, merci für die Nolausteren. Um, bis nächste Woche. Adi. Mm -hmm.